The time has come to refill your lotion bottle. But even though you can see that there's about 10 to 15% of the lotion still left in here, you can't get any out. It's just, you're, you're pumping out blanks. Uh, I dealt with this problem many times early in my career. And uh, eventually I got tired of wasting the lotion because eventually like you can't get any out and you just have to throw it away and get a new one. Well, there is actually an easy way to, um, to rescue the rest of this lotion and you just need a towel and a kitchen saw. And then so all you do is take this one off. Come down here. Now I personally like to take, just go straight in at first. And you know, always make sure that you're like above here. If, you, if it goes all the way through and you're, you're holding it over here, you might stab all the way through on accident. So always make sure you're holding from the top and you don't angle it upwards. All right, so you go in and then you can just start going around from there. If you just try to make the initial cut right here, I find that there's just a lot of uh, unnecessary sawing and it's just easier to punch the hole through and then start sawing from there. And that's it. All right, and then also if you don't have a uh, French horn at home, then you can have a little fun with this. Uh, we'll save that for later. And the, the towel is multi-purpose. It's not just so that you can like lay this down on it. It's also so that you can put this in here and then wrap it around it. Because if you don't do that, then the lotion's going to dry out a lot quicker and it's gonna make it to where like you'll use it once and then the next time you come back, it's like all dried out. So yeah, if you have a big thumb, you can just do it with one hand. Which, so, you know, you kind of stir it up and around and, and then as you're letting it come up, you stir around so that it kind of gets the rest of the lotion. You can also kind of, you know, bring it down here. I mean, all this is pretty self-explanatory, but if you have an issue with uh, just doing this with one hand, you can prop the lotion bottle up on something. And then, yeah, at that point, you can go away at that. I find this so much harder, but there again, it's because I can just go away with my thumb. Okay, so that is one option to where you can put the towel over and just kind of like keep it like this for a while. However, that's only gonna last for maybe a week or two because a lot of air still gets through. I personally recommend taking a couple more of these and just fill up three small bottles or as many as you can. That way you actually have it airtight and it's going to last six months to a year, if not longer. Okay, so that's all there is to it. You can put that aside. Uh, one quick note, the reason why I have Biotone here is because you know I've been doing massage for over 15 years. I have used Biotone for the last 10 years or so. It took me uh, a few years. I tried out like seven or eight different massage lotions and this one just had the best glide. It's hypoallergenic, uh, so I don't have to worry about anybody who has really sensitive skin. Um, it's, it's unscented, well at least this one is. I always get the one with the blue. Um, and then, yeah, yeah, the, just other lotions, I noticed that there was, like, I would be kind of like skidding across or it would just kind of like feel weird or maybe they're, they might be more oily or something. My clients have never complained about feeling greasy after this kind of lotion, whereas if you use like some other kind of like massage oil, I never use massage oil. It's reasonably priced. I, at this point, I, I mean, it used to be like 50 bucks, but I think it's like 65 bucks for this big jug. Um, and I mean, I'm a massage therapist. This is my full-time gig and I probably run through like maybe two of these per year, maybe three. So yeah, I mean, if you're just a hobby uh, massager, <laughs> you know, this is gonna last you a long time.